George. What a time it is to be alive right now in the late 1920s. Why, everything is just Jake. America hasn't prospered like this since, well, since ever. Why, television and radio shows are just now becoming something greater. And refrigerators, air conditioner units, and toasters are now available for the common folk. Why, medicine has advanced into something fantastic, and it's saved millions of lives. America's economy is booming, stocks are up quadruple fold, and, of course, America's wealth has more than doubled in the past year. Why, what a truly great thing. What? What's this? I'm you from the future. Gasp! They invented time travel already? Nope. This is actually just a video for a school project. Oh. But I am you from the 1930s. Ten years from today. Wow! It must be great there in the future. Why, the technological and medical advancements must be... Dear God, man! The future is absolute bourgeois! Oh, please, that statement is nothing more than phonus balonus. You do know that times here in the 1920s have never been greater. I mean, sliced bread has just been invented. It's true. Don't make me pull a Daniel Boone. Will I have to spell it out for you? Well, otherwise tell it to Sweeney. But things are so bad in the 1930s because things were so good in the 1920s. Let me explain. Oh. Long day at work. Not a lot of money. Looks like it's sliced bread for all nine of my children. I know, I can invest some money in something worthwhile. Like stocks. But how much to invest? I know, more than I have. Americans were spending far more than what they made on stocks they couldn't afford. They thought stocks would only increase in value and therefore make them a profit. Only they didn't have the money to buy the stocks to begin with. This results in Americans' income being far smaller than their outgo. Basically, they use their credit card way too much. Ha 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 please don't make me laugh. The nation's economy can't just dissolve overnight. Can't? Actually, it can and did. Let me show you. Ah, see, September of 1929, the stock market had a little bit of trouble. Resources began to run dry, which meant the stock market naturally decreased. But so many people had their money invested in the stock market that they decided we should sell now to make a profit. And so they did. <laughs> and the stocks went straight down because everyone sold at once. But that meant, hmm, low price for high-valued companies. Better buy now. And it's back up again. Hmm. Well, stock market isn't doing too good in resources. We should sell. And everybody sells at one time. And then they buy again. And then they sell again. And then they buy again. And so on. Until the bubble bursts. In a five billion dollar explosion. That's right. Five billion dollars went down the drain in one day. I see your point. But even if the common people couldn't see this tragedy coming, surely the banks could have enough hindsight to prevent it. Right? Wrong! You know why? Because the banks were buying stock too! They would try and predict which part of the stock market would increase so they could gain the most value. But during the stock market crash, do you know what they did? What? Their solution was to buy more stocks! The more the stocks went down, the more the banks bought. So, past me, what do banks do for you? Why, I deposit my money into the bank, and they hold it for me. Right, except they spent it all on stocks. So what happens when the stock market crashes and everyone needs more money? Where do they go? Why, the banks, of course. Right, but the banks don't have any money, so what happens? You abandon Earth and start a new civilization on Mars. 
Nope, the result is actually number one. Fifty billion dollars of the American people's money simply disappears in one week. And number two, thousands of banks close at one time, making the result catastrophic. <laughs> What do I do, future me? You could build a time machine and not tell anyone about it and go 10 years into the past and tell your past self about stocks. <laughs> what do I do? I know what you can do. You can subscribe to Snuggletoff Studios and like this video. I know what you could do. Nothing.